performing while entertaining. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, and traveling. And I, traveling. I tend to travel a lot. And taking, what's the, what's the most remote place that you've been now in your travels? Boy, well, I know for Discovery, this past year I flew 125,000 miles through 15 countries, and I think the most remote would be, just in terms of time, 27 hours to Papua New Guinea. And it's also the, one yeah. of the most remote environments, like oh, the yeah. Amazon or Upper is Brazil. Is it scary but, there still? Or it's, is well, it, it's is, wild. But it's, can it be frightening? Are there still cannibals in Papua? There's, there are rumors. The tribe I was living with was not, not thankfully. Not that I'm aware of. I'm <laughs> still here. But no, I think one of the nice things about working in the nonfiction programming space is that you never really know what's going to happen. There are no scripts. There are no actors. We're just there to explore, and my job is to bring so the So before you to go life. to Papua New, yeah. uh, Papua New Guinea, do you read all the old historic books of all the explorers and know what they did over there? I try, but there are over Osa 800 John different Osa cultures. Osa Johnson and all those people that went to those remote places early in the... Geologists were trying to do an in-situ recovery. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, it's part of the journeys of, of traveling the world, and I brought some of them to show you, take now, a little bit of a tour. This, this yeah, isn't I nice? am wearing, this is a, you know, this really goes right here. Yeah, that's a, that, was a <laughs> gift, that was a gift from Chief Gimtasu of the Anga people in Papua New Guinea. Wow, and so that really is a boar's tusk. Yes, it's a status symbol yeah. that, that looks beautiful oh, on you. It's, I, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. Now, what about this thing? This is, this is not from the Anga people, but this is a, a wall hanging also from Papua New Guinea. There are over 800 different cultures. Set aside. I couldn't tell you which culture this is from. I saw it, and I like to, I like to support indigenous decoration. artists. beautiful decoration. How old do you think that is? Oh, maybe it's only 75 years oh, old. It's not, but it's not an ancient age. Beautiful ancient. painting on yeah. it. And this, okay, this is also Papua New Guinea. I'll let you guess. Can you tell what these are? I guess that they were cod pieces. Yeah, pretty much. They're, they're penis gourds. Yeah. yeah. They're worn, they're worn uh, yes, exactly. Different sizes for Protection, different... Protection, right? Exactly. Or, but or this, for decoration. This is, this, they're ornamental, but they're also, oh. I mean, this is all they wear. So yeah, with a little yeah. strap around here, right? Exactly, yeah, there's a little strap in Have here. Have you tried it on? No. <laughs> So if you came on the show with that on, that would be a actually, completely different show. That would be a much more interesting thing. Look at this. I've okay. never grown a gourd that looks like that. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is. Did you bring any about, seeds home? No, I did not. You we need grow those? seeds. Yeah, we oh, need seeds. I can seeds. work on okay. that for you. Okay. Also from the anger, the, the last of the Papua New Guinea. Uh, this is a bow and arrow, also given me by. You can only talk to ex nephews in laws yes. by like that. Yes. By the way. <laughs> Uh, let's That's move. a beautiful bow and arrow. Yeah. Oh, that looks deadly, though. I they would are. not like they, to be shot with that. Do they dip those in poison? They don't, thankfully. Oh, no. Okay. But they, the textiles are really beautiful. Now, yeah, where are these I thought you'd like these. These, this, this um, cloth underneath, as well as this bag, both come from the Andes. So of, like beautiful. the Chachapoya show that we just saw. I was in Peru. I've been to Peru nine times on different expeditions, and I love to support indigenous artists. These are all antiques. Yeah, they are beautiful. And then over here, I brought some stuff from Africa. This is for the elephant show. Now, this show. is not one of those. No, no, no okay. God. <laughs> That would be impressive. Okay, no. But, but wait, smell that. Can you tell what this is for? Isn't that wild? Ooh. Yeah, like, you can. Um, smoked something. Smoked and fermented. This is actually a yogurt maker. The Maasai oh, use this to make yogurt. They use, out of, out out of cow's, of milk. They, cow's yeah, milk. Yeah, they use their gourds to store either cow's milk or blood or whatever. Well, they mix the milk with the blood. They because, do. And you have to drink it, and it's horrible. And right. I've had it, and it's and I have, yeah. not delicious. But that's a beautiful gourd, too. What yeah, a beautiful I thought the beadwork is really nice. Oh, and this is. one also, not for a yogurt, but just for... Have you been with the Maasai? Yes, I spent oh, some time with the did? Maasai and the Samburu exploring this elephant issue. Which is, and then these obviously are bones. These are these are just war clubs. Uh, but they're oh they're wood. They're wood. But yeah, they look wood. like bones. They don't do. They, they look. They're, these are legitimate. These are not. It looks the, like a hip bone, ones. right? It could be like a pelvis. Yeah. So these are used for war against people or animals. I would not like to be hit with that. No, I don't think anybody. No, that's would that's be hit deadly. With that. that's, yeah. What are these beautiful? These beautiful these, things. Yes. Okay. So this wow. was this was a story I did on Timbuktu, and I'll start with the salt. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, the crystals. gorgeous. Yes. This. Pink and white salt yeah, and gray. And, and what was interesting for this story was that, and what I didn't realize was that back in the, in, the, in the peak of Timbuktu, during the days of like 1,000 to 1,200 AD, salt was just as valuable uh, where as Where is Timbuktu? Good question. A lot of people... Does anybody know where Timbuktu really is? A lot of people think it's a mythical city. Right. It's, it's, no, a, it's real, a real place. It's a real place in, in Mali, in West Africa. And I went there, I went into the Sahara with the Tuareg to learn about this dynamic trade between salt which was called white gold and real gold, which came from Guinea and places to the south. So I, the Tuareg actually gave this to me. This is legitimate Tuareg salt. It's very valuable. Mm. This little piece, they say, would be worth about $1,200. It is salt. But, but don't get it wet. Like, don't get it wet or humid. Well, you just licked it. So it's, I know. It's, <laughs> it is wet, <laughs> but OK. And then these, these knives, the Tuareg, look at how beautiful these are here. 
Oh my gosh, how but the Tuareg beautiful. are called the Knights of the Desert. And these are so light, but they are deadly. Yes, and they always carry swords, they always carry uh, wow. knives. These are beautiful. I bought these in Timbuktu as well. Oh. So they sell yeah. these to... to um, if you, if you know the right people. Right. Thankfully, the Tuareg, I befriended them. I went into the desert on camels. How do they carry these? I think any... Well, the one that I carried on the show was actually tied to my wrist. So you could actually oh. ride your camel and take it off pretty easily. These are These, gorgeous. I'm guessing, are just worn around your neck or Look on a belt. Look at this beautiful one. Yeah, they're great. With, is that gold? No. Brass? Yes. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's been fun. I think what's, what's nice for me is not just... Can't get that one out. Yeah, really? Not just, not just, the, not just getting the trinkets. Oh, yeah, not just getting the trinkets. These oh, are no. all obviously... Some of these no, are they're modern. They're works of art. They're, they're works of art, and, but for me as an explorer, it's nice to connect with the physical world as well as the cultural world. And my, my, this totally. show, Into the Unknown, is all about exploration and making right. these stories accessible to people. So viewers. is everything on DVD, too, that we could get? No, because not yet. Almost. Oh, okay. The season finale is tomorrow night. Okay. And then after that, the, the, you can pre-order the DVDs, and they'll be out in a few weeks. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. And uh, tomorrow is the uh, season finale of Into the Unknown at 11 p.m. on Discovery Channel. Thanks, Josh. Pleasure to see you. We'll be right back. There's more great ideas to come, so stay tuned.